Today I'm looking at a completely original 1944 Willys Army Jeep. How's it going? It's going well, man. How are you? I'm Rick. TC, nice to meet you. So this is the Willys Jeep? Yeah, this is a 1944 Willys Jeep. It's been pretty much fully restored. It's in great shape, runs awesome. They made them so they're really simple, really reliable. They're four-wheel drive, so they basically go anywhere. And they tried to make them GI-proof, but I don't think anything's actually GI-proof. <laughs> <laughs> I called Rick to come take a look at my 1944 Willys Jeep. I'm selling the Jeep now because I just bought a house and I'm starting a family and I really just don't have any room for it. This is incredible. Originally, there wasn't a company called Jeep. The whole Jeep name sort of happened and there's a few different theories on it. The one theory I like the best is Popeye actually had this invisible magic dog <laughs> in some of his episodes and its name was Jeep. Oh, wow. And the thing was like indestructible, it could do like anything and then the other theory is it was the general purpose vehicle, the GP. OK. Which sort of translates into Jeep. That makes sense. They were incredible vehicles for their time. Where did you get this thing? I actually got it off a buddy of mine who was a Marine. He fully restored it. It's got all the uh, original parts. I'm pretty impressed, actually. I mean, it's in really good shape. Because usually these things were so bastardized, it was unbelievable. So many guys bought surplus Jeeps from World War II, and then they tried to customize them, and then a lot of them just tried to keep running with you know, bubble gum and duct tape. Right. So it's rare you find them that are completely original like this. Yeah, it's pretty stock. So how much are you looking to get out of it? Well, I was thinking 25. Does the gun come with it? Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> OK. I have a buddy that's like an hour from here, and he would know a lot more about this than me. Do you mind if I get him down here to take a look at it? Sure. All right. I'm actually glad that there's an expert coming to look at this Jeep, because I know it's in very good condition, and I think Rick's going to buy it. Wow. This thing is gorgeous. What year is it? 1944. All right. So in July 1940, the US Army sees that they're probably going to get pulled into World War II. They realized they needed a sort of all-purpose utility vehicle that was four-wheel drive. Willys was actually granted the first contract. The cool thing is, Willys goes on to start making the CJ series, the civilian Jeep series. And really, the Jeeps that are made today are very recognizable, having this been their sort of grandfather. And the design really hasn't changed all that much. So. The thing I need to do is basically establish how original this is. The more original parts, the more valuable it is. OK. The biggest thing I look for on a Willys is right here is a data plate. The serial number is consistent with 1944. So no question that the body or the tub and the frame are original 1944. That is great. The next thing we need to do is check the engine. Can you help me pop this? Sure. Well, I don't have to look that hard. That is a post-war engine a CJ engine from the 1940s, which is very popular to do with these Jeeps. They're a little bit more reliable, but for a collector purist, they want a World War II engine. OK. It's still a gorgeous Jeep. And I think, actually, the last thing we need to do is. You guys want to take it for a spin? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I've even got some yeah. helmets for you. I'm good. Safety first, Rick. I don't consider that a safe helmet. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Cadillac. <laughs> yeah. This is so awesome. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That was cool. <laughs> I got to admit, I'm, I'm deeply impressed. TC, thank you so much. Sure. That was so fun. <laughs> so I'm assuming it runs perfect. It runs perfect. It handled everything it was supposed to handle. So what do you think it's worth? I think you could get 25000 for it, Rick. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I think this is a great buy because it appeals to Jeep collectors and military collectors, so it's a broader base. All right, so uh, what's your best price on it? Well, I was hoping to get 25 You take 18 I uh, can't go that low, man. I can come down, but not that far. Uh, 23 How about 19 grand? I'm going to have expenses. i got to ship this thing back to the West Coast. I don't know if I can go that low. Ah. I don't, 22. I'll make it plain and simple. I'll give you 20 grand. It's more than a fair price. Uh, all right, 20. Sweet. Let's go do some paperwork, <laughs> and right. uh, I get this thing shipped in Vegas. Cool. I decided to take the 20000 because I really just need this Jeep gone. I'm going to take the money and put an addition on the back of my house. Wow.
This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.